Hi, in this tutorial, we will be covering invoicing with accounts receivable. I have created a job here, job 213729. It is currently an active job. And as you can see, I have the option of moving it to accounting. So my accounting team will know that this is ready to be invoiced, or I can go ahead and voice it here myself also. First, before we go to invoicing, I'm going to take a deposit on this. When we come down in the middle here, this is where I can see my totals. I can see my total rental on equipment. I can see if I have any service charges on here, my labor charges. If I had delivery and miscellaneous, they would be here. And here is my, my total for this job. In order to take a deposit, I can come up here, click the green plus, and it's going to give me some options here. Credit card, check, cash, wire transfer, all of the above. For those of you who currently have an integration with our 360 payments, it's a wonderful way to manage your credit card processing. Uh, they guarantee to meet or beat all of your current um, processing uh, vendors that you're working with. And if you do have 360 payments, then you're able to send a link in any deposit email or invoice email for uh, them to pay directly through that link. So of course you get your money usually much faster. So I can see the amount due is 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take a deposit for $1,000, go up here and save it. And again, if I come down here, I can see that this $5,000 has been applied by the date and my current balance is now 5,161. So very, very easy to take a deposit on this. In order to go ahead and invoice this, as I said, I can come up here, I can send it to my accounting team or with the proper security and privileges, I can go ahead and invoice this myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click invoice. I have several options here. I can just go ahead and invoice this job. I can invoice and print it. I can invoice and email it directly, or I can invoice and include a, a customer survey. This is something new that we have. Uh, you're able to create a custom email survey to send to your customers after the job, ask them how you did, how your crew was, and um, aggregate the responses and be able to view them in report form. So it's a great new tool we have. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and invoice an email. I have multiple different templates that I could use to send this to the customer. Of course, you have all of your own custom templates. So you would just pick and choose which document that you would want to send. It's picking up on my customer and their email right here. I could send it to other internal contacts at my company. I can add a custom email template that I might already have set up in the system. Just come up here and update my, this email below with this template. For example, I do have a sales template. It popped up here, here's the job number or the invoice number. And then you can see here, it picked, in, picked up Michael's name there. By checking this, I can go ahead and send a copy to myself. And over here, I can add the client survey. So very, very simple to go ahead and send this to a customer. I'm gonna go ahead and send. And now you can see this job has been locked. Right here, we have the lock. And I have my invoice number here. With the proper security privileges, I can unlock this invoice and make any necessary changes. But again, only with security privileges. I wanna go up and I wanna look at some reports also. So we go up to our hamburger here, click on that, go down to reports, and we have our financial reports here. Within financial reports, we have quite a few financial review reports, invoice summary report, aging reports for receivable, invoice report. So many, many reports that uh, can be filtered, 
to get to the information that you need. Also, we have integrations with many of the major accounting software programs out there, including QuickBooks and Sage, Great Plains. Um, if you're working with something that's a little bit different, we're happy to accommodate that and work with you to provide the proper solution. Um, we don't want people to um, have to work in multiple systems. We wanna be able to provide a, a nice workflow for you. Thank you very much for joining me for the tutorial for invoicing and accounts receivable.